A lateral release is a surgical operation, commonly performed in orthopedics. It is a procedure to cut or release tight tissues on the outer side of the kneecap. Which tight tissues may be pulling the kneecap over into an abnormal tilted position? The outer side of the knee is called the lateral side. So the procedure is known medically as a release of the lateral tissues or a lateral release. The kneecap is medically known as the patella. So to get all the terminology right, we could say that a lateral release is a procedure to release the tight tissues on the lateral side of the patella. To understand the procedure, it is essential to know the anatomy of this region. Everybody knows what their kneecap is, but some people may not fully understand that it is really part of the whole big group of muscles that helps you to straighten the leg. If you sit in a chair and put your hands flat on your lap, they will be spread over the group of muscles called the quadriceps muscles, often shortened to the word quads. Quadriceps means four heads, and the quads muscle is actually made of four muscle heads which originate in the upper leg and hip and come together into a thick tendon which eventually inserts on the top of the shin bone or tibia. If the quads is contracted, the tibia is pulled straight, and this is greatly helped by the presence of the patella actually seated inside the tendon itself. The patella acts like a kind of fulcrum increasing the efficiency of the quads in straightening the knee. So if you look at this picture, which represents the knee with the skin stripped off, one can appreciate the patella within the tendon of the quads. The bit of tendon above the patella is called the quadriceps tendon, and the bit below is called the patella tendon. To either side of the patella, you can see fibrous sheets helping to hold the patella in the middle. This net of fibrous material is also called a retinaculum. And so there is a net on the inner side called the medial retinaculum and a net on the outer side called the lateral retinaculum. It is this lateral retinaculum that is involved in the surgical procedure that we are talking about, that is, the lateral release procedure. It is sometimes also called a lateral retinacular release, which is a better name, but a bit of a mouthful. I like to think of the retinaculi as guy ropes, holding the patella in a good position, like the guy ropes of a tent. Quite often, the retinaculum on the lateral side becomes too taut, and it tends to pull the patella towards the outer side, and also to tilt it over to that side. This is called patella tilt. Let's take a look at the patella from above, where you can appreciate that it is usually centrally positioned, in a groove in the thigh bone or femur bone underneath it. If it becomes pulled over and tilted, the outer side will press with excessive pressure against the lateral wall of this femur groove, and the smooth white joint cartilage may become damaged and the person may experience pain. Patella tilt with pain and a tight lateral retinaculum may be an indication for the procedure of lateral release. There is something, though, that is important to understand if you're contemplating a lateral release operation, and that is that if it is done for the wrong reason, the outcome can be a disaster. A wrong reason might be a tight lateral retinaculum in the absence of a tilted patella, or an unstable patella that tends to intermittently derail from the underlying groove. A lateral release performed for the wrong reasons and without a full evaluation of the patella and its associated anatomy, may lead to a worsening of symptoms and a weakening of the quads muscles to the point where the person feels they can no longer trust their knee. It's my impression that this bad reputation began after the 1980s with the advent of keyhole surgery, because it's so easy from within the knee to inadvertently extend the release too far upwards and go into the part of the muscle called the vastus lateralis. That's part of the quadriceps muscle group. The old way of approaching the tissues from a skin cut on the outside meant that the anatomy was more clearly appreciated. The medical literature has gone into the indications and contraindications exhaustively, but the mistakes are still being made. I feel that the procedure should only be undertaken if the indications are clear, 
It really needs a surgeon with a particular interest in this region to examine the knee, the x-rays, the MRI scan, the ultrasound scan, and to rule out problems of local anatomy, long bone alignment and long bone rotation before blaming the lateral retinaculum for the person's symptoms. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Learn more about your knees at nikuru.co.uk.